Well, you know, the party line is that we teach the full student that he becomes a good citizen, that he becomes um, able to uh, work for himself and to provide for family and to become uh, and be, be a good citizen for the city and for the nation. That's the idea, I think, of education. However, the problem is that we've got to get them to pass classes. We have to get them to take classes that will and, and make them fuller in their understanding of what they're to be. So that the, uh, the curriculum is not set in stone. It should be able to be changed as it go along. Also, we have to evaluate the teachers. Seeing that, uh, I, I see that every so often about you know, teachers, uh, the, the students are not that good, the teachers are not that good. Well, what does that mean? It means that we really don't know what we're doing at that when the system does not provide or produce students who are going on to higher education. One of the uh, problems I see is that in the paper recently, the president of the Hartford wrote an article about concerning the superintendent. And uh, I don't know if he wrote it or not. I think he gave it to one of his uh, secretaries. But they made a point that 89% of the seniors in Hartford have taken the SATs, the, uh, the college course. And that, that's supposed to be very good, but everybody knows, I think, that the college boards are paid for by the city, so everybody can take it. And what they didn't produce, show is what were the scores of those seniors. If you go online, you find that the scores of our SAT students are not exactly what we should be producing. So those are the things, you got to go back and look at it and don't be afraid to make a change. We've committed to charter schools, I think, and uh, maybe some of the schools are not producing what they should be producing. Just look at the, uh, I'm not so sure about the facts, but I know that when you're talking about the, like uh, some of the, the, the nursing academy, I understood that those who graduated from the nursing academy were supposed to go on to nursing school or at least most of them, because that's what they spent their time on. And it, it's not so. We went over to there one of the CNAs, which is not necessarily good. You need a high school diploma for it. Yes. Michael, yes, you're at your three-minute limit. Okay.